Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I would like to talk about how to fix WWE 2K25 controller or game pad is not working and how we can fix this app. So let's directly get into the step. So the first one is all about we have to start with we need to disable or enable the steam input which means we have to try with the disabling the steam input and also we have to try with enabling the steam input so to do so just go over here go to the game right click go to the properties go over here in the controller and right now this is by default setting change this to enable the steam input and we have to try launch the game still if it's not working we have to change this to disable the steam input and we have to try and launch the game. Both should be done. So you have to try with enabling the steam input and you have to check whether you are able to fix the issue. If that's not working, change this to disable the steam input and you have to check. That will be working very well as well. Next up is all about what we need to do. Is go over here and we need to delete the crash pad from the folder and make sure you have to take your backup. So go over here in the file explorer, go to the documents, expand this. You have to get into the folder WWE2K25 and go over here in the WWE2K25. So not this one, just go to this PC, go to local disk installation, I mean where the game is and stuff, Steam library, Steam apps, common. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to WWE2K25. Here you'll be seeing, able to see a folder named Crash Pad. So first, copy this. And after it is successfully copied, you just need to go back to desktop. Make sure it is you have taken a backup. Once you've taken a backup, you just need to go over here, right click, go for the delete, and you have to delete it. Once the delete is done, you just need to close this, go back to the Steam, and try to launch the key, and you have to check. Next one, we need to try turning off or on controller in the Steam support. In the, I mean, controller support in the Steam setting. Just go over here in the Steam. Go over here at the top, click on the settings, go to the controller. Now from here in the controller, what we need to do is just go over here. So make sure a few things, that is if enable the steam input for over here for the Xbox, if you're using the Xbox controller, if this is actually turn it off, you need to turn this off and you have to turn this on and you have to check. If it is actually turn it on, you have to turn this off, then you need to check. And also, if you are with the PlayStation controller support, you can try with enabled in-game support. You have to check. If that is not working, change this to enabled and you have to check. Still, if it's not working, you can change this to not enabled and you can check. We can try any one of these things. Most probably with enabled in-game support, it will be working. Or with enabled, it will be working in some cases. So you can try and check which one is going to work for you. And you can check with each and you can try launch the game and you can check. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to launch the game in the big picture mode. So go over here, go to this is the icon at the top that the big picture mode click on this one. So that that will take you to the big picture mode like this. Now from the big picture mode, we need to launch the game. We need to launch the game from the big picture mode. So we have the uh, game here, just go over here. Now try to launch the game and that will be working fine. Now, apart from this, you can go over here in the Steam, go for exit, go for the exit big picture mode. Now you can go back to the Steam and you can check whether you are able to fix the issue. Still, if there is an issue, we need to move to the next one. That we need to close the game and update the controller using the PlayStation accessories or the Xbox controller app. So, what you need to do is if you're in the game for the WWE 2K25, what you need to do is you just need to go over here. So if you're in the game, close the game, close this as well. Now go over here, we need to go to the Xbox uh, Microsoft Store and we need to search for Xbox accessories. We have to search for Xbox accessories here. Search for Xbox accessories. Now with Xbox accessories, the users who are with the Xbox, okay? What you need to do is with the controller, you need to update. You need to update your Xbox from here. If you're having the controller of the Xbox, you need to update it. Install this and update the controller by connecting. And if you're using the PlayStation controller, what we need to do is you just need to use it with PlayStation accessories and you need to update the controller and you have to check. Next one, we need to unplug all the external devices and launch the game. So we might be connected with a lot of things. For example, external joysticks might be connected or dual monitors might be connected or any other might be connected. So these are some of the reasons why we end up in having the crashing issue. So it is quite important for us to understand that we need to unplug everything. Once everything is successful, I mean, once successfully unplugged, we can launch the game. Once the game is successfully launched, 
you can connect it back and try launching the cane. That's what we have to do. My next step is all about what we need to do. We just need to remove the controller from the Bluetooth devices and connect it back later. Sometimes, you know, uh, not the wired one, the wireless one can cause the issue. So if you're already connected with the Bluetooth and trying to launch the game, just eject it. In the sense, you have to disconnect the Bluetooth. Now we need to launch the game. After the game is successfully launched, you can connect back the Bluetooth and you can check. And also I recommend most of the time, which helped me, which I found it from the Reddit, Quora, even in the Steam community, not only for 2K25 WWE, but also for the 2K24 and even for the 2K23. What worked for them is all about wired connection. So what I'm personally recommending you guys is you can always use the wired connection. That's going to help you guys out. So this is what we have to do. So these are the steps can be done when it comes to how to fix the controller is not working on WWE 2K 2025. So I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon next video. Bye.